people used to do jokey puns about the term transgender by referencing the classic kids franchise Transformers. Transformers! Robots in disguise! Well, now the Transformers are transgender. My pronouns are they, them. No one asked. I'm she, they, but you already know that. <laughs> Imagine tiny children watching this trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Sometimes the world can be a scary place. It's hard to know who is dangerous or not. I know I'm safe when I'm with my friends or other non-binary people. Yes, they may have just endured a horrific civil war between the Autobots and the Decepticons, but misgendering is still a big problem. My pronouns are they, them. Non-binary. People who aren't female or male. What a wonderful word for a wonderful experience. Mm, the depression and suicide rates kind of suggest otherwise. Even Optimus Prime slipped into some casual transphobia. Of course. Um, Morgan, can you switch, uh... Before being quickly corrected. Nightshade's pronouns are they, them. He or she just doesn't fit who I am. My apologies. Damn right, bigot. They really have to take everything that was good and wholesome about your childhood and defile it, don't they? We really went from Transformers the movie where Megatron murdered Ironhide by shooting him in the face with his arm cannon to Transformers with pronouns. Do we have another Bud Light-style boycott in the works? Well, the Transformers franchise is owned by Hasbro, which isn't exactly overperforming financially at the moment, so they'd likely be vulnerable to such a backlash. But Paul, these are just some relatively obscure television cartoons? Why are you getting mad over that? Ew, right wing snowflake. Bigots are raging at Transformers cartoon with a non-binary alien robot. It's just about increasing representation. Really? So 10 years ago in the UK, according to NHS referrals, the number of children who said they were suffering from gender dysphoria stood at just 250. A decade later and that number stands at 5,000. Is that near 2,000% increase in children reporting gender dysphoria over just the last 10 years? The natural response to LGBT Zoomers feeling more represented in television cartoons? Non-binary. Or is the 2,000% increase actually a product of a sustained social engineering project? Relentlessly promoted by cultural institutions, ceaselessly amplified by celebrities, Celebrities and transnational corporations, institutionalised, recognised and given credence by the law and the state in every single Western country in the world, as the flag of this supposedly marginalised movement literally flies over major government buildings, or because some alien robot in a TV cartoon said they them were non-binary. My pronouns are they them. Gee, I wonder. Don't go away because there's much more to come. Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. And I'm not talking about some airy fairy hypnosis gimmick. I'm talking about something that actually works. I'm talking about fume. An innovative, award-nominated device that makes breaking your bad habits easy. Flavourful and fun to fidget. Giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your habit. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong, so instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Instead of electronics, fume is completely natural. Instead of vapour, fume uses flavoured air. And instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses all natural, delicious flavours. I've been using fume for months now, and at first I didn't even think it'd do much, but I've got to say it tastes like a breath of fresh air. It feels natural, it just feels... Cool. Stopping is something we all put off because it is hard. But switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over a hundred thousand customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com slash pjw or scan the QR code and use code PJW to get 10% off the journey pack today. That's try F U um.com slash pjw to save an additional 10% off your order today. Now back to the video. Over 20% of Gen Z now identifies as LGBT. That figure has jumped by 5% in just the last three years alone. And it hasn't spiked like anything near that amongst older generations. A new poll in the UK finds that a majority, 54% of teenagers aged 16 to 18, know someone at school who wants to change their gender. A figure that would have been in the 
single digits 10 years ago. Is that down to enhanced representation or enhanced indoctrination? Given that the transgender lobby have tried and succeeded in many cases in blocking teachers and schools from sharing sex education material of this nature with parents before their kids are exposed to it. Gee, I wonder. I wonder why large numbers of teenagers are being taught in school, that women can have penises, that men can get pregnant, and that sex is assigned at birth. Oh, and BDSM too, lovely stuff. Is that merely an organic development encouraged by wider representation in society? Or is it because transgender activist groups are influencing the content of sex education lessons? Gee, I wonder. So now it's not just obscure television cartoons. This stuff is deeply embedded within our school curriculums. And not just at the national level, this is an international project. Project. The Telegraph reports on how the World Health Organization is encouraging schools and educational institutions across the West to tell toddlers and infants to explore gender identities and engage in sexualized behavior from the ages of zero to four. Holy shit. The guidance says that sexuality education starts from birth and is described as a framework for policymakers, educational and health authorities and specialists. The WHO guidance also says that children aged four and under should be taught about enjoyment and pleasure when touching one's own body, early childhood masturbation. And they tie that in with infants having the right to ask questions about sexuality and the right to explore gender identities. Oh, don't use the word groomer though. The document states from birth, babies learn the value and pleasure of bodily contact, warmth and intimacy. They're literally trying to sexualize a newborn baby's natural bonding experience with its own mother. The sick freaks. The woke Welsh government incorporated some of this guidance as part of its mandatory sex education syllabus. Yeah, this goes far deeper down the rabbit hole than just TV cartoons, doesn't it? Non-binary. WHO spokesman told The Telegraph the organisation stands by its guidance and it remains accessible. They're fucking proud of it. Is it time for the World Health Organisation to rename itself? The World Nonce Organisation? Because I'm sorry, but anyone who talks about how children, babies, should be sexualized from the age of zero onwards. Needs to have more than just their hard drive checked. This after the UN published a report encouraging sex between adults and minors to be decriminalized. But I guess it's just about representation, right? Meanwhile, this past weekend saw the latest Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> Okay, seems fine. Let's see Germany's entry. Because you can't represent Germany by... flying the German flag. Gotta be the occupation flag instead. It's just about representation. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.